Alright, hello guys, I'm back with another video on the Autotyper, just because there's a lot of questions uh, in the Discord about the Autotyper. I'm going to try to cover everything in this video, and it should be as short as possible. Uh, so, some frequently asked questions, just before we start. Uh, does it work on Mac? No. Does it work on phone? No. Um, other than that, we'll, we'll cover the rest now. So, in the description of this video, there'll be a link, and in the description of my last video, there's a link, so you... Join the Discord through this link. I'm doing it on browser. It doesn't matter if you're on browser or whether you've got the app downloaded. So once you're in it, you can see all these channels. <clears throat> general so you know. If you're gonna test the autotyper, stop doing it in general. Please do it in spam. That's what it's there for. To find and download the autotyper, it's this link in hashtag download. So you click it, brings you to media file, you click download, save the file. And then you open it. I've downloaded it several times. This will pretty much always come up. The reason this comes up is because Smart Screen doesn't trust the program. Uh, to get past this, you can pay uh, to be like a licensed developer or whatever, publisher. But obviously, I'm not going to pay for that. This always comes up. It's not a virus. It's not a keylogger. It's not a. Uh, does I don't want your IP. I don't want your key, nothing like that. So um, you can always ask in Discord, but. You know, if you don't trust the program, don't download it, don't run it. So if you still wanna, you still wanna use the program, here it is. You've opened it. Uh, so to begin with, everything that you want it to type, you put in here. A lot of people use this for dank memo, so I'll use that as an example. I think this is a command for it. I don't really use the bot, but so if you put please beg, and then please fish, for example, each line here. Is a new message so it'll send it it will type please beg and it'll press enter at the end of this line and then it'll do this uh, interval is how often it will start typing everything out so if I put this at 30 seconds it will wait 30 seconds and then start typing line delay is the delay between writing each line so say I have 30 second interval 5 second line delay it'll wait 30 seconds type this line and then in between these lines it'll wait five seconds and then type the next line and it'll do that so if I put another thing here it'll type this wait five seconds type this wait five seconds type this you don't have to have spaces in between you can leave it like this and it will do that that's what line delay is interval is you know the time between the whole typing process um, looping so time it's used to be an option but now you can loop as many times as you want. If you put zero, then it will just infinitely type these things out uh, using interval and line delay, of course. Say you want to do this like twice, put two. Say you want to do it 10 times, put 10, simple as that. These are also both in seconds. So this will wait 30 seconds, this will wait five seconds. This checkbox, uh, it doesn't work most of the time. I'm still working on some sort of thing like this. If you tick it and it doesn't work, don't use it. I recommend not using it at all. Uh, but you can experiment with it. The hotkeys to start and stop are here. Kind of dark mode, which is just scuffed as hell. I don't know why anyone wanted to use that, but people wanted it. As for other frequently asked questions, will you get banned by Discord for using this? No, it's not against their terms of service to use this. Mainly because it doesn't actually use their API, which is why you have to be tabbed into Discord. Another thing is, you have to be tabbed into Discord or whatever you want to, to type into. You can type into any application. Uh, say I wanted to go... For, for example, if I wanted to do this um, into my browser, I could do this, it would do it for me. It doesn't have to just be Discord. So Discord won't ban you, you have to be tabbed into whatever you want to type in when it begins typing. Uh, if you get an issue like this, it's because you are tabbed into this, you haven't tabbed out into another application. It doesn't let you type into the auto type of application so you need to start it and then tab out and then it'll do whatever so you can't really have it discord minimized or nothing like that <clears throat> that's pretty much it if you have any bugs or suggestions that's known discord you can always type in general um, and thanks for watching